Hi, my name is Ido, and I'm a developer, and I started to read again the e-application development cookbook, and there are a lot of things there that are hard to understand, so I decided to do this video serious, um, and to explain even to myself what's going on behind the scenes. So today I'm going to cover the getters and setters topics, and let's start. I have a new fresh copy of it. And I deleted, of course, uh, function and comments that are related to this tutorial. So I am on the site controller file. And I will give to this public uh, layout variable any name, actually. And uh, because I don't want design, so what it will do it will go to the folder layouts. And the def default uh, layout is the main.php. But now it will search for no design. PHP which is not exist which is good so I won't have a design let's see I will refresh all right so let's start I make a new file in the component folder named rectangle for this example it's a new class and I want to show you this is the regular way uh, you get um, and set um, a private variable so if I will go um, to my action index in the site controller and let's say I will create a new object from this rectangle class and I can do it because the this folder the components um, if we go to the config you can see in the import that E uh, is importing this folder components and all its content so I have access to the rectangle which is there alright so now if I want to set let's say uh, area a variable from the rectangle class I have to write this object set area let's say to 50 and if I want to get it so now hopefully I will refresh the page and as you can see I get 50 so this is the regular way now let's say I want um, to do this so I will get obviously an error because I don't have the permission to go to area because area is private so let's see yep as you can see I get an error here so what I have to do I can extend the rectangle class to C component which uh, if we will go to this class we will see that they have a get and set with the name so now I can I can access the area with this because you will will call the get and set so let's see yes this is the first 50 of course but this is the 10 the new 10 so I can delete this and as you can see now I, c I have a direct access to area with this uh, syntax so actually another interesting thing I want to show you is in the config which is also um, um, a way to get the parameters here let's say I want to get to name so the same way I can do echo this is the way I go to the to the main parameters let's say name so let's see 
yes my web application and this is this parameter with this value so let's say I want to make my own uh, variables or parameters I will go to params and uh, let's say I'll get the name let's call it my name and let's say we don't and let's say my site let's say right ups that's what I am all right so now let's see what's going on I'm going to the params which uh, obviously is an array so um, I can var dump all the array or just go let's say to my site and now we have my site that's it um, actually about the getters and setters so again you should extend the C component class and then you can use this pin syntax okay goodbye and uh, we'll see you next time bye bye